Welcome. In this session, what I'm going to talk about or is expand on something I've talked about before, which is the effectiveness of current controls. As I said in a previous blog, the effectiveness of your current controls that you have in place in your organization is going to determine how likely a particular event is to occur. Now, what I also said at that time is that if those particular events have significant consequences to your organization, you need to make very sure that those controls are effective. But in this blog, what I want to talk about is what does that mean? So I'll go into a, a risk workshop and we'll detail and identify a whole range of current controls and, and I'll ask, well, how effective are they? And people will say, well, they're effective because well, nothing's happened in the past. The reality is, though, that the absence of incident does not necessarily indicate the effectiveness of your controls. The only way to do that is to measure them. So what we need to do with every single one of those controls is to identify an owner. But we also need to identify our performance measures. What are those areas that we are going to assess the effectiveness of that particular control against? And in turn, what are the key performance indicators that we are going to use? What are our preventative controls? And how are we going to measure that the preventative controls are actually effective? What are some of the um, detective controls that we're going to have in place and how are we going to measure the effectiveness of those as well? As I said, you need to have performance measures and key performance indicators for every single one of your controls. Because if you don't, you're never going to know how effective they are. Now you think about it. When we see stuff happening on the news and, and crises and, and things that have gone wrong, it's not in rare cases, it's because there was absences of controls. In most cases, in the majority of cases, it's because the controls that they had in place were not effective. So make sure when you're developing these controls, you don't just pay a lip service to it. We have a policy here or a procedure. Identify the owners or the owner, sorry, of that particular control, but then ask the question, how am I going to manage or measure that this control is effective? Because if you can't do that, you can never actually determine whether or what the true likelihood of that risk is. That's all I've got for this particular blog. And as always, let's be careful out there.